Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. It's battle time today. Today we're going head to head with Mixed Chick Styling Cream and Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I've done a couple of videos similar to this one, so if you're interested in the playlist, I'll list it down below. So I'm trying to come up with a name for this series. I'm in between Battle of the Curls and Brand Battle. I'll leave them here or here. Choose which one you guys like. If you don't like either one of them, leave a comment down below of what you think I should name this series. Okay, so let's talking. Let's get into this battle. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to the Alex Natara family. Make sure you like this video. And let's get on to the battle. In the left corner, weighing 12 fluid ounces, is Mixed Chicks Coil, Kink, and Curl Styling Cream. Claims to condition, retain moisture, promote growth, add definition for wash and goes, two strand twists, coils, and spirals. Directions are to apply to damp, detangled hair and style accordingly. Cost $11.99 at Target. And in the right corner, also weighing 12 fluid ounces, is Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. Claims to hydrate and protect hair, smooth for a soft, silky feel, and control frizz. Directions are to apply sparingly to damp or dry hair for twist out, braids, and wash and goes. Cost $11.99. Purchase with a 10% coupon at Target. We're going to check the smell, the consistency, and see how easy they are to put, apply to my hair. We're going to start with a wash and go, then I'm going to put my hair in two strand twists, and in a couple of hours we'll check back in to see how they look. Let's start with the wash and go. So my hair is washed. I actually washed it yesterday. I have some water here. I wet my hair back up, but just in case it dries out. I have some water here to refresh it, but it's mostly like really wet. I wouldn't say it's like soaking, soaking wet, but it's really wet. But I have more water here because last time you guys complained that my hair wasn't wet enough, so it's wet now. I also haven't detangled it, so I'm going to detangle it now. I'm going to use the same leave-in conditioner on both sides, but I'm going to use it really, really lightly because a lot of times when I use... Um, products cream products they tend to start um, you know get that white like clunky feel because I've used too much product so I'm going to use a Miel um, leave-in conditioner I really really like this one because I can use it with a lot of different uh, products and it doesn't clink like you know make that nasty bleh. so <laughs> I'm going to use a very very small amount of this and detangle my hair okay so I split my hair into two parts so on the left side we're going to use the kinky curly on the right side curl hands in smoothie now I have used a curl um, the Shea moisture before like a long time ago years ago um, I have kind of always kind of been natural for the most part most of my life and when I first when Shea moisture first hit the scene that's probably the first uh, product I used one of the first products I've used so let's just, this is taking forever to open. And this is my first Mixed Tricks products. I actually purchased a lot of other natural hair products for this series. So definitely make sure you stay tuned because I have a lot of stuff coming up. Or if there's other uh, companies or products you want me to use, make sure you leave it down in the comments to let me know. This smells a little funny. Does it? I don't know. It has like a like fruity smell. I don't know why I'm getting like banana. It's making my stomach hurt a little. It doesn't smell bad. It's just so sweet that it's like making my stomach hurt a little bit. Um. Yeah. So let's see the consistency. It is a cream. It's similar to the curl enhancing smoothie. I think this curl enhancing smoothie is a little bit thicker, but this is a thick cream. It just reminds me of like, hopefully you guys can see. It reminds me of like a pudding. That's what it smells like. It's like a pudding, like a sweet pudding. All right, so I'm gonna take quite a bit. I'm actually going to separate this a little bit more 
as you like the consistency of it is gliding through my hair really nice oh wow okay now I did put a lot more water in my hair so my hair is like mostly soaking wet right now oh I like this It's definitely like elongating my curls, which is cool. I'm gonna use just a tiny bit more. This will really get in there. And I'm just um, using my fingers to distribute the product and really get it through my strands. And wow, it's kind of making my hair like, I don't know why my texture of my hair has been changing a lot lately. Like my hair, oh, did I mention my hair is like in like the fours? So I have some sections that are 4A, some sections that are 4B, and then some 4C. My 4A is like right in the front, as you can see, is like the curl pattern all the way in the back of my hair. 4B is like right in here, and then I have 4C all up in here. So I have a whole bunch of different textures going on here, but I like how this is curling my hair. I really like this. I feel like it's not shriveling it up. I have to see how it would look in a couple of hours, but we are gonna do the two strand twist, so we'll see how it works for that too. But not bad, not bad at all. It's making my curls, I'm hoping you guys can see how defined my curls are. And I did put quite a bit of product in it because I. that's kind of how I normally do. I kind of like to overload the product on the first day so I don't have to put so much on on the following days. Push this off to the side so I don't get confused. And let's move over to Shea Moisture. Mm, it smells so good. This one is not as sweet. It just smells like like muted like oils like it's not as strong. Hopefully you guys can see the consistency of it or what it looks like. And let's look at the consistency. Yeah, just like I remembered. It's definitely a lot thicker um, of a consistency. Now this product, you know, I'm not gonna say too much because I haven't used it in so long, but it's said to use sparingly and yeah, this is a, a, a product that can kind of give you those, um, like if it mixes poorly with a product. Now this didn't. This, I'm, I'm really happy it didn't mix um, poorly with the Meow Leave-In Conditioner. But I love that condition leave-in conditioner because it usually doesn't. I'm nervous to see if this is going to do that. Let's see. I love how this is gliding in my hair too. I haven't used this in so long. I have like a perfect part because if you saw my last video, I did like a, a part right here. So that's why my part is looking like almost really, really straight. Okay. Can you guys see the difference already? Because I can. This has more of like a wavy curl with the um, Shea Moisture. It's more of like a wavy curl. But I like how both of them are like, it's super moisturizing. I can tell that because my hair is like, just seems very, very, like it's taking to the length. Like it's, I keep, I'm just gonna take the earring off for now. <laughs> um, it's just like elongating my hair, which is nice. And it's not like weighing my hair down, which I like. This is a part of my hair that's more, it's a mix of 4A and 4C. Like 4A, 4B on the bottom, and then 4C right up in here. This is probably the most coarse part of my hair is right here. I 
feel like this is a product even with Shea Moisture. See, now I piled a lot of products on this side. Again, I like to use a lot of products um, in my hair um, on my first days. But I am noticing that this is starting to, which I was nervous about. I don't even know why I played myself putting so much products in my hair, but I just feel like I need it. <laughs> But I am putting probably the same, maybe even a little less product over here than I did over here. And you can kind of see it too. Um, you can see the white coming through. And I really am, you know, trying to rake it through. But it's definitely giving me a lot more volume. I can say that. There's a lot more volume on this side than there is over here for the mixtrix, which I love volume. Probably a pick would do it, but a pick to this and it's already big would be like beautiful. It's starting to diminish. I don't see as many flakes. I can see it like up close. I don't know how well you guys can see that on camera. So there's a big difference. Shea Moisture is definitely has a lot more volume and the curls are more, like my hair is like expanding more. It's just giving just volume and a different type of curl this is more like a bunchy curl here with the um, mixed chicks which I still like I love the fact of how curly my hair feels and it feels really really light um, as my hair is starting to dry I can start puffing it up but this is on you know the same amount of wet hair I put water on here too to just try to make it you know consistent but it's definitely giving me like a natural um, volume rather than having to like pick it out or manipulate it after or when it starts drying but yeah what do you guys think as far as the wash and go which one do you guys like better okay so now is round two and we are going to put my hair in two strand twists I'm gonna do it as far as like a cornrow goes because that just makes my hair just like look better <laughs> so I'm going to do that on both sides if you guys would like me to do a tutorial on how I do this it's really really simple just let me know but I'm gonna speed past this and I'm just going to put this in probably three twists on each side okay so my two strand twists are done they're horrible looking because I could I had a lot of trouble seeing what I was doing but they should turn out well it's just the roots that are like I don't know what I was doing but the twists are nice they're nice and bouncy I like how they formed they look really pretty especially over here I'm loving Shea Moisture. I don't know why I wasn't using this for so long, but the curls look really pretty. Over here, too, I can't front. I'm liking how this is looking over here. Oh, did I miss a strand? Of course I did. Let's take this out, and we'll just do a little doop to do Okay, so I'm going to let my hair dry. We'll see how they look. I'll get back to you right now. Okay, so it's the next day, and we are ready to take these twists out. So I'm going to take a little bit of virgin um, olive oil, because I like how it softens my hair. So I'm just going to take just a little bit and put it on the tips of my fingers, just to assist me in taking out the twist. So let's start with the uh, mixed chick side. Let's see how it unravels. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. I think the roots just need a little bit of work. Oh, that one is really pretty. How pretty that looks like there. This is how the mixed chick side is looking. It's a little poofy on the ends over here, but for the most part, it retains um, a lot of the curl. It looks very shiny and healthy. I'm going to separate and um, 
style it just to see how it looks when I add a, um, a pick to my roots and see how it um, you know looks after I style it so we'll see so far so good it's a little poofy in some areas but that tends to happen around this part of my hair so I don't think it's a product I think that's just how my hair is but let's look on the other side and check out um, Shea Moisture okay here's how Shea Moisture is looking already very bouncy is a little bit more like controlled this side's a little I don't know do you guys know what I mean by like controlled it just looks more I'm not sure let's see let's just keep going first mm, it's looking pretty good over here it's looking really nice over here I'm loving how it's feeling too okay so now this is how Shea Moisture is looking. Let's look at some individual curls here. Very pretty. Let's hold up two curls on both sides just to see the difference. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pick and I'm going to pick it out and style it and then we will get to the conclusion and see who won this battle. Okay, so I took a pick to my roots and the hair so it's looking a lot better but I can definitely tell some differences. So this is how it's looking as a, um, a twist out. How you guys feeling about it? You guys see the difference? Okay, so let's get on to the conclusion. Okay, so here we are for the conclusion of this. Now, I'm actually going to write down... I'm actually going to write down some scores here. I think we're going to keep score for this series so we have um this is called mixed chicks and we have shea moisture so as far as can um smell goes um from a one to five one being the worst five being the best i'll give mixed chicks for smell a two because i didn't really like mess with the smell i guess it's a preferred smell but something about it is like I don't know I don't really like it for Shea Moisture I'll give this a four it's not like outstanding but I like the fact that it doesn't really smell too much more than just oils for consistency I actually like the consistency of the um, mix chicks better so mix chicks I'll give them a four for the consistency for Shea Moisture I'll give it a three only because Shea Moisture is it's super 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 thick so with the problem with that is it, it'll tend to clump clunk up more with different leave-in conditioners with the mix chicks I didn't have a problem at all like I didn't see any type of residue coming when I put in the Shea Moisture I did so I have to be more careful with the Shea Moisture so as far as consistency I'll give Shea Moisture a three and I'll give mix chicks a four as far as application I would give mix chicks a four I think it was super super easy and I could put as much product as I want to and didn't really have to worry about the um, build up and it was nice and smooth which I like. Shea Moisture, I'll give it a, um, a three and a half. It wasn't bad to apply and it was super super soft and easy um, but there's just a clunky clunkiness like that residue is what bothers me but it was easy to apply but you have to watch how much you use and that's why I'll give it a 3.5 as far as the wash and go I'll probably give see they were so different I'll give um, mixed chicks a four I'm gonna actually give them both a four 
because I think the wash and goes, they were different, but I thought they were really pretty. They gave nice curls. I liked make, um, I like Shea Moisture just a little bit more. I'll give Shea Moisture a 4.5 because I liked the volume that it brought like without me having to do so much to it. Mixed Tricks gave me like more of a length, but it didn't give me as much volume, and I love volume, so I'll give Shea Moisture a 4.5 on uh, the... Um, on the wash and go. As far as putting my hair in the two strand twists, I'll give them both a five because it was super easy. Um, it made my uh, my twist look really, really healthy and plump and I really like that. And it just leaves for a better outcome as far as a twist out. Now let's talk about the twist out. I'm gonna give Shea Moisture a five and I'm going to give Mixed Chicks a three. Only because Okay, now the mixed chick side is is more like hard. Like it's not as soft as I thought a cream would be. I did use a little bit more product on this side, but I didn't expect it to be this like crunchy. It didn't really leave my hair with that like soft feel like the Shea Moisture did. Like you, if you touch my hair, you'll feel a difference. This is more of like a crunchy, this is like super, super soft and the volume too. Before I even picked it out, you could see how much more of volume I was getting on the Shea Moisture side than I was getting over here with Mixed Chicks. Also in here, my hair does seem to puff, but for my hair to be in twists all night, it really shouldn't be doing that. Um, so it's not really, like it looks just a lot more like I have too many like of these puffy strands that really should be curled. Over here on the Shea Moisture side, I don't have too much of that. Maybe a little bit in here, but for the most part, it's still like ending with a curl. So I would give Shea Moisture definitely, I would definitely do a twist out again with the Shea Moisture because I just like how it feels. I'll probably um, do a wash ago with the Mix Chicks because, because it has that, that crunchiness. It's kind of like, not like a gel, but between like a cream and a gel, and that leaves for a better um, wash and go. But as far as like a twist out, I would definitely go with the uh, with the Shea Moisture because I love the volume. I love how soft it is. It's really retaining my curls a lot better. And yeah, that, that, that's my final thoughts on those. So let's tally it up. So it's two, four, four, okay, four, eight, twelve, why did I, why did I do halves? That turns into a one. 25 to 22, Shea Moisture won this battle. Congratulations, Shea Moisture. Great job here. Great job to Mixed Chicks too, I'm definitely not mad at it, but Shea Moisture did win this battle. Which one do you guys think won this battle? Do you think I'm wrong? Which one do you think? Make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know. Also, don't forget to let me know what I should name this series. If you're not subscribed to the Alex and Tara family, make sure you're subscribed. Thanks so much for tuning in to this battle. It means the world to me. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.